Welcome back to the High School Sports Zone as we continue with Matt in the top 10 boys, Greater Houston Athletes of the Year, as selected by Byte Media. We did 10 through 6 in the last segment, so we start with number 5. What a phenomenal athlete from Fort Ben Marshall. Yeah, Devonta Cheney was Mr. Fort Ben, right? He's the big man on campus. He had an amazing season running the, running the football for them. They reached the state championship game. Then he's, you know, participates on the track team, which wins another Participates? He just plays. <laughs> what, did he get a ribbon? <laughs> <laughs> he more than participated. He participated. <laughs> no, this guy is a special athlete, kind of once in a, you know, you know, decade type of One guy. Of the fastest track guys in the country. Right. Amazing speed. And it really translates to the football field. And he's one of the top recruits in the country. I mean, he could do football. so much. He can, he, can, he can catch the ball out of the backfield. And when he gets the ball in his hands, you do not want to see him coming at you. Because he's a thick, strong kid, but he will blow by you and make you look really bad. And you can call him Devon uh, Achaney, A-Chain, A-Chan, because everybody says it differently. We still don't have it straight because nobody seems to know. But just call him Devon from Fort Ben Marshall. All right, at number four, great basketball player from Klein Forest. Calvin Solomon, okay. This is kind of controversial, right? There's two teammates, right? Kyrie McDaniel won the Guy V. Lewis Award. Mm -hmm. Calvin Solomon wins the Player of the Year for basketball for Vite. So he was our number four guy because here's what he did. He had to guard every top player that they played against in the playoffs. He's six foot nine point guard who can guard virtually anybody. He's going to Stephen F. Austin, also with Kyrie McDaniel. They're going to play together in the college ranks, which is going to be awesome. But this guy led them to a state title game just because of his defense, and he was such a matchup problem on offense. Oh, man, he had an amazing season. So we get to number three. You could have picked maybe one of about three or four North Shore Mustang football right. players. You go with Shadrach Banks the spectacular wide, rice, wide receiver. Why Shadrach over the other guys? Well, that's good. The other guys are, are, great. are amazing. And they're all right? coming back next yeah. year. So you have Zach Evans, who's the number one player in the country right now. Okay. okay. And you got Demetrius <laughs> Davis, who threw, who broke the internet with his pass to win a state championship game on a Hail Mary. And Shadrach Banks didn't even catch it, and he still was number three. What he did in the postseason, he was untackled, how do you say that? Untackable? A bull. Yes. <laughs> I mean, people were falling off of this guy, whether it be Katie, Cypher, Lake Travis, uh, Duncanville for that matter. This guy was amazing when it counted the most in the postseason. He's just going to be a junior, and he is <laughs> going to be one of the top players in the country. He'll be a top five kid when his time comes. Wow. And he'll be back next season that's going to be something to see all right then we bring it down to number two and you go a little off detour here <laughs> with a wrestler yes. at number two top athletes of the year and that is daniel manabog of katie okay <laughs> but you have to you got to back me up on this right this guy well, let me hear your argument. completely <laughs> dominated the space over four years i mean this guy was outrageously successful as a wrestler. He's going to Oklahoma State, which is the equivalent of a basketball player going to Duke as it relates to wrestling. So he had a tremendous career and nobody could get him down. He just demolished the field as it relates to the last two years. So, and I'm not even a huge wrestling fan, yeah. but I, you have to give them that guy a ton of respect for what he did. I'm not gonna, uh, argue. I'll back you up. How's Thank that? you. Thank you very much. All right. So we get down to the number one boys greater Houston athlete of the year. And not a shocker, he's been in the national headlines for the last couple of months. And that, of course, would be... Matthew Bowling is basically the Kardashians wrapped into one as it relates to track <laughs> in the country. Everything that this guy does goes viral. And what he, I mean, what he does is superhuman almost. I mean, you see what he did at the state track meet. You know, he can run, he can jump. He's a great teammate on, you know, the relay races. But this guy, I'm anxious to see how it translates at the college and professional re level, even the Olympic level, 
where does he go from here? I mean, sometimes kids can peak in high school and they're, we're not sure how much upside he has. I think this guy has a ton of upside. He's going to Georgia. This guy could be a name for 10 years as it relates to Olympic running. Yeah, I don't doubt that at all. So that's a pretty good list. I wasn't hard to, I bet it Thank wasn't you. easy. It was very hard. A lot of guys on the bubble there. Sleepless nights. Oh, you made it through. I did. Well, thank goodness for that. <laughs> thank you for the, another season. We made it. We did. It was awesome. Yeah. And enjoyed having you on every week. We look forward to this fall. Matt will be back with me, correct, on the Thursday night showdown. Can't wait. Great we, schedule. We've got great schedule. We'll have all the top schools. We've got North Shore. We've got Katy. We've got Westfield. we got Lamar. You Shadow Creek. Yes, Shadow Foster. Creek. Foster. Yeah. So look forward to that. More details to come. Thanks to Byte Media Chief Content Officer Matt Malatesta for your input this past season. Thanks for including me. All right. Our pleasure.